Uh, thank you very much to the Commission for having us here and for having the public here. And thank you to our uh, public advocate, Tish James, for being here as an advocate for the people. I'm Council Member Ben Kalos. You can tweet me at Ben Kalos. I'm uh, the Governmental Operations Committee Chair. I give my testimony on behalf of eight council members, James Vaca, Technology Committee Chair, Richie Torres, Public Housing Committee Chair, Stephen Lenovan, General Welfare Committee Chair, Jimmy Van Bramer, Majority Leader, uh, Costa Constantinides, Library Subcommittee Chair, Danny Drum, Education Committee Chair, and Karen Kosowitz, State and Federal Legislation Committee Chair. And you might wonder why all we care about this issue, but it impacts so many different areas of the city and all of those subject areas. As Comcast, the largest company in the United States, seeks to largest cable company in the United States seeks to acquire Time Warner Cable, the second largest, with more than 2.6 million subscribers in this state, please use your new regulatory powers to determine whether or not the merger is in the best interest of existing customers and the residents of New York City and state. We believe that such a merger would only be in the public interest if paired with net neutrality and a significant expansion of free and affordable internet access for low-income families and individuals to reduce the digital divide. The Internet Essentials Program, launched by Comcast in 2011 to provide low-income households with affordable broad broadband, is a positive first step, but major shortfalls must be addressed. Only 2.6 million families of the 7.2 million families making under $35,000 in Comcast service area are eligible for the program as it only applies to families with children eligible for federal free or reduced price lunch. Of that 2.6 million, a mere 300,000 families have applied. This does little to close the digital divide, the gap between those who can afford internet access and those who cannot, a division that entrenches social and economic disparities. We propose that we require the expansion of the Internet Essentials Plan for New York customers as cited in Part C, Section 1 of the petition. The transaction will generate other significant public benefits. Internet Essentials must go beyond families with children on free and reduced lunch to provide free access to new NYCHA public housing, that's 403,120 residents and 175,587 families in 178 1,557 apartments, Un uh, people on unemployment insurance benefits, and institutions serving vital public needs such as 1,700 public schools serving 1.1 million students and 223 public libraries. Free or affordable access should be provided to family and individual recipients of income qualifying federal, state, and city subsidies, and the loopholes that deny internet essentials to old customers, those who have missed a bill in the past, or those who have unreturned equipment must be closed. Closing the digital divide has been a priority for New York City and indeed our nation. The FCC's 2010 National Broadband Plan includes the imperative to create mechanisms to ensure affordability to low-income Americans, noting that only 40% of adults making less than 20,000 per year adopted terrestrial brand band at home, while 93% of adults earning more than $75,000 a year have adopted broadband at home. This has also been a ma major priority of mayor and the city council. Mayor de Blasio has laid out a goal of universal affordable broadband to ensure all New Yorkers can carry out the fundamental tasks of accessing information, applying for jobs, communicating with coworkers and loved ones that broadband access facilitates, the City Council included the need to expand free Wi-Fi across our public parks and our budget priorities for the upcoming fiscal year. As you consider a merger that will provide Comcast with 40% of all broadband customers in the United States, Comcast and Time Warner must also, and equally importantly, voluntarily abide by the FCC's Title II regulations banning unreasonable or unjust discrimination and ensuring net neutrality. Internet access, no provider, least of all, one controlling such a huge share of the internet access should control the flow of information on the internet by speeding up or slowing down traffic for pay or based on content type. Currently, the FCC is seriously considering using its authority under the telecommunications regulations found in Title II of the Communications Act. Comcast and Time Warner should choose to abide by these regulations voluntarily. All Americans and New Yorkers deserve access to the internet. 
the same access no matter their income level or content types. The merger between two corporate giants to become providers of one of America's most crucial resources must, if approved, be in the public interest and only ensuring affordable and unconstrained broadband access will guarantee that. We as representatives of America's most populous city urge you to look towards a future where all families and individuals can reap the benefits of a competitive, free, and open internet. Thank you.